The plan for a new men's prison in Lincoln County would mean a dramatic change for this now rural section of the county between Canton and Harrisburg. An emergency like a medical episode of fire or disturbance isn't a matter of if, but when. Today, Kelloland's Dan Santella shows us what County Emergency Manager Harold Timmerman has to say about the state's proposal. The plan is for these rural fields and their cows to eventually make way for a men's prison that will serve as a replacement for most of the state penitentiary that now stands in Sioux Falls. As an emergency manager, it won't affect me an awful lot because I work with all the first responders in the county. And, I'm, we have an, and we're kind of waiting to hear more details from the state too as to how self-contained they may be or self-sufficient in regards to uh, medical needs. But it's not like construction on the prison will finish anytime soon. According to the State Department of Corrections, 2028 is the estimated date for that. In the meantime, Timmerman looks at possibilities with the variables he knows. You know, and if there's medical needs, we could bring uh, paramedic ambulances to that site, should we need to. Gotcha. We have paramedic ambulances in Canton and Lennox both. He says Harrisburg, however, does not have paramedic ambulances. But 2028 is a long time from now, at least when looking at a community's development. Uh, Harrisburg is growing uh, real, really fast, and so far their main ambulance service comes out of Sioux Falls, as does Tees. Okay. And once in a while, Lennox and Canton have to cover those towns. Near Lennox, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. Lincoln County Commissioner Joel Aaron says many people are asking who would provide emergency response services, local agencies or the state. We brought that question to a DOC spokesperson as well as the governor's office, but have not heard back.